Welcome back to the channel SD fans. Regulators are one of the most vital pieces of the modern diver's kit bag. Without a solid, reliable reg, you aren't going anywhere underwater, as this is your true life support system. In this video, we take a look at some of the top regulators on the market, as well as some of the features you will find on many of them. If you haven't been here before, my name's Mark, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Scuba Diver Media brand, and welcome to the Scuba Diver YouTube channel. Before we get started, take two seconds to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And ring that bell so you get notification of the latest releases. And if you can't understand my dulcet Yorkshire accent, you can even bring up subtitles. Everyone loves something for nothing, right? Check out the description below for all sorts of goodies, like a free digital subscription to any of our magazines. Where we can, we'll link you to the destinations or the products that we talk about in the support our channel section in the description. For transparency, we'll earn a small commission each time you purchase after clicking one of our links. And this will go directly back into making more content for you to enjoy. Now, let's dive into the video. I think that a regulator represents the very core of your diving essentials. Hey, without it, you aren't going diving anytime soon. Regulators provide the gas to keep us alive and well when we head off below the surface. And believe me, things have certainly changed in the last 20 odd years. I remember some of the first regulators I used getting quite hard to breathe at depth. Think sucking treacle through a straw and you didn't dare turn your head from any position other than head down and forward for fear of a flood of water coming in through the exhaust valves. Ah, the good old days. It was certainly character building. These days, I am constantly astounded by the quality of even budget regulators, which would give all the high-end models a serious run for their money. The purpose of a regulator is very straightforward. To deliver air, or whatever gas is in your cylinder, to you, the diver. A reg set consists of a first stage and a second stage. The first stage is what attaches to your cylinder and it's either via an A-clamp or a DIN fitting. A-clamp was often seen as being a standard for recreational divers and DIN was reserved for technical divers, but more and more recreational divers are using DIN as the screwing design is far superior to the A-clamp. The purpose of the first stage is to reduce the high pressure coming out of the cylinder itself and get it to a manageable level for the second stage the bit that goes in your mouth, to work. When you inhale, this creates a drop in pressure inside the body of the second stage. And this in turn causes a silicon rubber diaphragm inside to move inward. The diaphragm presses against a lever, which opens the valve, and that allows the gas to flow into the mouthpiece. As you exhale, that diaphragm moves back, the valve shuts, and the gas you breathe out goes out of the exhaust valve. Regulators are either unbalanced or balanced. Unbalanced regs use the tank pressure to open the internal valves, and therefore inhalation effort can be marginally higher as you work through your air supply. At shallower depths, or if you're not working hard, this can be barely noticeable, but it can become more apparent if you're deep and working hard, such as thinning into a current. Balanced regulators are more expensive, as the design is such that the internal valves will open without the assistance of the tank pressure, so the ease of breathing does not alter throughout your dive. Just as we clear our ears when we descend, first stages need to be able to adjust to the pressure changes as well. So first stages will be either a piston type or a diaphragm type. Piston type regulators allow water to enter the first stage and press on a piston contained within a sleeve. As the depth increases, so does the pressure, and this is applied directly onto the piston. These tried and tested first stages are very durable and robust as there's only the one moving part. However, they can be susceptible to very cold conditions or if you're diving in dirty water. Most manufacturers offer environmental seal kits that allow the piston reg to work as normal, but seal it off from the water. The other type of first stage is a diaphragm type. These incorporate two parts to their valve mechanism a lever contained in an airspace and a diaphragm that presses in as that airspace contracts from the pressure of increasing depth. 
as no water gets inside these regulator first stages, they are particularly popular for use in extremely cold conditions as they prove very resilient to free flowing. Second stages can come in all sorts of shapes these days, but operate as described above. Manufacturers have all got their own unique takes on second stages with various patented approaches to increasing performance. Many second stages feature cracking resistance controls with which you can adjust how much effort is needed on inhalation to start the gas flowing from your cylinder and venturi levers with which you can control the venturi assist process which is used to reduce the work of breathing and to lower the sensitivity to free flow and provide maximum airflow at depth. Right, so that was a very brief overview of regulators and how they work. Now let's have a look at some of the best regs out there in the market, which we have reviewed in our annual group test. The Apex MTXR was the civilian version of the military spec MTX. It was developed in accordance with the United States Navy Experimental Dive Unit's Extreme Cold Water Test, and this regulator featured a first of its kind over-molded first stage end cap and environmental diaphragm to prevent ice buildup. It's got a forged body with five low pressure ports and two high pressure ports, and it was equipped with a double swivel braided hose. However, the second stage had no dive adjustment controls at all. And that's where the MTX RC comes in. The second stage has a Venturi lever and the cracking resistance control knob. It also comes in a subtle gunmetal gray color rather than the bright white of the MTX-R. The MTX-RC performed well straight out of the box when we tested it, and we like the ability to tweak the breathe to our liking. The Venturi and the Kraken resistance control were both large and easy to locate and operate while wearing gloves. Thumbs up as well for the comfort of the Comfort Bike mouthpiece. It is maybe a little on the heavy side for divers who travel regularly, but it is a super smooth breathe regardless of orientation. So I'd be happy to dump a few clothes to accommodate this in my dive luggage. The venerable legend is back in all new guys, and the Elite is the pick of the pack. The chrome overbalanced diaphragm first stage offers total environmental protection, giving it phenomenal cold water performance. And the new heat exchanger, which has a bigger surface area and a co molded end cap, gives it excellent resistance to freezing, albeit being quite heavy. It has two high pressure ports and four low pressure ports. It's equipped with Aqualung's ACD, which is auto closure device, which keeps corrosive water out of the first stage inlet by automatically closing as the reg is removed from the cylinder valve. On the second stage, the soft co-molded purge button is effective and easy to locate and operate even with thick neoprene gloves. The Comfort Bike mouthpiece, as mentioned above on the Apex, is still one of the best on the market in my opinion and the co-molded exhaust tee efficiently vents exhale bubbles either side of your face. The Legend Ultra has a Venturi lever and a Kraken resistance control knob, giving you complete independent control over the ease of the breathe. Again, regardless of thickness of exposure protection on the hands, the controls were easy to use, especially the Kraken resistance control knob. Gave a silky smooth breathe in all orientations, and it's a good looking unit to boot. Atomic Aquatics are renowned for producing high-end, high-performance regs, but with the Z3, they've managed to bring all this workmanship and technology into a well-priced package. The Zirconium, that's what the Z stands for, delivers corrosion resistance apparently three to four times that of conventional chrome plating. And the second stage lever, orifice and spring are titanium, as with the higher spec and price models. It's equipped with a factory seal first stage, huge purge button, comfort swivel, and no less than seven low pressure ports and two high pressure ports. As with all Atomic products, the reg benefits from a limited lifetime warranty that's not contingent on proof of service, and it boasts two year or 300 dive service interval. The Z3 scored very highly with the scuba diver test team, and it's a keenly priced way to get on the Atomic premium ladder. It looks good with a chrome second stage surround, is extremely well made, boasts a silky smooth breathe and has some neat features like the automatic flow control or AFC, which does away with a manual Venturi lever and offers one skingled knob to offer full control of everything. The black PVD coated comfort swivel on the hose is a neat touch as well. 
Hollis continues to forge a path into regulators, and the flagship 200LX DCX is well worth a look. The 200LX features a braided hose, large venturi lever, chunky cracking resistance control, and has a big purge. It can also be converted from right hand to left hand if you so wish. It's got five low pressure ports and two high pressure ports on its DCX first stage. All metal components have a PVD coating for added durability. As with all Hollis regulators, it comes with a lifetime warranty, only requires a service every two years, and you get service kits free of charge for the life of the regulator. The super comfy mouthpiece, which is soft but has harder inserts in the bite, is very reminiscent of Atomic Aquatics. The breathe on a 200LX is smooth and dry in all orientations, and the big chunky venturi lever and crack and resistance control are both easy to use even wearing dry gloves, as is the huge purge, which is effectively the entire front of the second stage. It looks good too, in an understated way with the PVD finish inserts, and I like the red and black colour scheme. Mares gave their regulator lineup a serious overhaul back in 2019, and the Epic Adjust 82X still represents a formidable unit. The first stage is a solid piece of kit with natural dynamic flow control on all low pressure ports, which are mounted on a swivel turret and then tilted so you can find that perfect routing. The all metal second stage has a unique pivoting purge valve, lightweight braided superflex hose, and a neat twist control to boost the flow rate from natural breathing to power breathing, all of which was seen on the Fusion Reg. However, the Epic also has a crack and resistance control knob for further fine tuning of the breathe. Both the first and second stages have an eye-catching PVD coating, which not only looks great, but also adds another degree of protection. The Epic Adjust 82X put in a strong showing in our group test, and if anything, the test team felt we had to dial down the airflow, it was so powerful. The pivoting purge and motorcycle throttle style Venturi control was well received, and the team also liked the crack and resistance control, which although it's quite small compared with some of the others here, was still operable with thick gloves on. Oceanic are making inroads back into the reg market, and the Zio is their current range topper. The FDXI first stage is small and compact, yet it's still pneumatically balanced and environmentally sealed diaphragm design, with four low pressure ports and two high pressure ports. The Zio second stage is also pneumatically balanced and features a large venturi lever and a big cracking resistance control knob to fine tune the breathe. The oval face has a decent sized purge and a swivel aids comfort in use. The Zio also benefits from Oceanic's limited lifetime warranty and free servicing parts for life. The Zio certainly stands out from the crowd, thanks both to its unique oval shaped second stage and its bold white finish. A black version is also available if you're a bit of a shrinking violet. It's lightweight, so ideal for traveling divers, but equally coped well on our cold water test, making it a good all rounder. The large venturi lever and crack and resistance control knob were easy to use with gloved hands, and the purge was effective. Scuba Pro has brought back the venerable D series of regulators. The D420 is reminiscent of previous D regs, with its unusual shape of second stage. It has a balanced valve which delivers abundant airflow regardless of depth, and when the pivot in purge is highly efficient. The dive pre dive lever is mounted on the top and it's easy to find and operate even wearing thick neoprene gloves. For this test, it was paired with the proven Mark 25 Evo flow through piston first stage, which is fully insulated from the environment by the XTIS, or Extended Thermal Insulating System, and has numerous innovative design features to aid cold water performance. It's got two high pressure ports and five low pressure ports. The Mark 25 Evo and the D420 make a solid pairing. The tried and tested Mark 25, now in the improved Evo guys, is compact, durable and efficient, and it works well with a relatively compact and robust D420 second stage. It has to be said, that odd looking second stage takes some getting used to, but there is no doubt it provides a very smooth, easy breathe in all orientations. That mouthpiece is also very comfortable. Polish company XD has really earned itself a solid reputation for its robust, well-made and stylish backplate and wings, and it's now released its NX700 LS200 regulator. Let's talk about that first stage. 
The NX700 is the definite showstopper when it comes to this reg. It's got two high pressure ports and five low pressure ports. The forged body is protected by a shiny chrome finish. It is an environmentally sealed, overbalanced diaphragm design with a heat exchanger wrapped around the HP valve. So perfect for cold water diving. So far, so normal. Where it all goes X deep is the design of the body. The two high pressure ports and two of the low pressure ports come straight out of the main body as per the norm. But on the front of the first stage is a large circular addition, which has another three low pressure ports. This is a unique swivel mounted on the face of the first stage instead of on the top. It can be locked in place or allowed to move freely, depending on whether you are diving a single cylinder, a twin set or on side mount. The second stage is more traditional with a cracking resistance control and Venturi lever. The XD regs provided a very smooth breathe and the controls were simple to find and use. And that first stage is certainly an eye catcher. Ziegel have worked with Atomic Aquatics to produce a solidly constructed regulator. The F8 has an environmentally sealed balanced diaphragm first stage made from durable brass and featuring a precision machined Neoflon seat. The second stage has a tough nylon case and has a seat saving orifice, zirconium plated inlet tube and heat sink for superior corrosion resistance and a new inhalation diaphragm. The redesigned front cover and crack and resistance control use co-molded components that provide high levels of grip. Ziegel have long been producing top quality BCDs and wings and now they are well established in the world of regulators after teaming up with a knowledgeable team at Atomic Aquatics. The first stage of the F8 is a compact but well made unit but we have to say that the second stage doesn't actually look as eye catching as its cheaper sibling the Onyx 2 which also scored well in our group test. No doubt in the performance of the F8 though the breathe was nice and smooth in all positions, the crack and resistance control is large and easy to use, as is the Venturi lever, and the mouthpiece is very comfortable. What are your go-to regulators? What have you got on your shopping list as we anxiously await global travel to open up completely? Leave your comments below, and if you've got a question, fire away. If we can't answer, maybe someone in our community will be able to. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our ever-growing playlist for more educational and inspirational videos. As always, stay safe, and if you're going diving, whatever regulator you're using, enjoy!